All right, hello everybody. It's me, Clock, and we're playing Fia's Night Out, a new RPG Maker horror game made by the same developer as Sweet No Death. This game contains blood. Um, made by Arcade Kitten. All right, that's your pajamas on, your teeth all brushed, and moi, a good night kiss. Are we forgetting anything else before you go to bed? Treat, treat. <laughs> Fia, you already had a treat. In fact, you had quite a few. We can have more treats and more sweets tomorrow, okay? Good night, baby girl. I'll see you in the morning. More treats, mother. We're getting those. We're getting those treats. So, okay. Um, move. Yeah, okay. Will Fia go to bed now? Wait, stay up. Okay. Well. I can see that there's some endings already. Um, yeah, we'll go to bed. Good night. Have a good night, chat. Sweets can wait till tomorrow. Is that an ending? Z, 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 Z. Oh, <laughs> that was an ending, chat. That was an ending. All right, well, <laughs> ending one done. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, and the other game we played by them was It's Not, It's Not, or It's Not My Basement, It's Your Basement. It's not inside my basement. Something about basements. <laughs> Bundled up friend sitting with his little buddy. Bundled up little buddy sitting with his friend. That's cute. Oh my god, her walk! Wait, look at her walk! It's so cute, dude. She just waves her little arms, dude. That's so cute. That's pretty cute, okay? That's pretty cute. A plush toy of a red panda. Fia's been told this was the kind of animal her father was. Her father sewed the heart pattern on himself. Oh, that's cute. Giant stuffed toy of an arctic fox. Fia understands that this is the type of animal she is. Oh. Furries. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Fia's bookshelf, home to many stories of young animals that need to find their way home, or lessons on what to do when problems arise. Oh, okay. Dresser, full of Fia's clothes. Outfits don't last very long. Fia outgrows them quickly. That's pretty true. It's pretty normal. The window's open. It looks like I could, like, climb up there or something. Let's go get some treats. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Mama. Aw, Fia, I just put you to bed. All right, you can stay up a little longer, but not too long. What will Fia ask Mom about? Treat. <laughs> Fia, I told you, we can get more treats tomorrow. Treats. Tomorrow we'll get here a lot sooner if you go to bed now, okay? So let's get you back in your room. Treats. Now. Wait. What? Yo, they locked me in the door. They locked me in. Stay up. What is this? I'm so happy to watch the stream. Pog. Wait, what was that move? I moved the bookshelf. Should feel climb the bookshelves? Yes. Treat time. We're playing a bad kid, I guess. Fia climbs up her shelf and dressers up to the window in the corner of the room and climbs outside. Okay. Okay. Zooming. We wagon. Why is... Oh, oh, I walked sideways. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's pretty loud, man. It's pretty loud. What? Maybe just a little bit down, okay? What's down here? Street light adorned lovingly with holly glows warmly. To Fia, it feels like magic. Magic. Treats. Where are the treats? Treats? Fia stops in front of a box of candy. All the boxes together give the impression of a delivery was well delivered. Yet so many boxes still remain outside. Surely if they cared, they would have been brought inside already. So in that case, no one should mind if Fia has a bit herself. Um. Okay, wait. YouTube? Give me a second. Okay, yeah, that's that's a much more reasonable volume. Okay, uh he is nowhere near strong enough to open a, such a heavy door on her own. One day she'll be a big girl and she'll kick down any door that gets in her way of treats. Treats. Yeah, she's still gonna walk like this when she's like 15. The snow bunny man sits beside his, is beside his dilapidated friend. Even Fia can recognize that not only is Mr. Snow Bunny Man in better shape, he's also more stylish too. Rude. 
Pia comes across an ever so melty snowman. His stick arm still waves high in defiance of his sorrowful state. Despite such a state, Pia can't help but to feel enticed by the gumdrop used in place of a nose. Oh! That's fucked up. She just ate that. She just ate that. Pia could hop up here and sit if she really wanted to. She doesn't, though. What about Tree? Pia doesn't like these evergreens. They are scratchy, and she hates stepping on the needles. Oh, wear shoes. Though faint, Pia can see the silhouettes of people inside. Is that why no one's outside tonight? Treats. Treats. This child needs treat chocolate. Pia spots a heart-shaped box sitting on a bench, no one to accompany it. She will kick down the doors one day, don't worry, chat. Pia remembers correctly, boxes like these usually mean, yes, there is chocolate inside, and not a single piece missing. That's about to change. Mm. Wait, there's still a couple left. Recently emptied- oh, never mind. Emptied box of chocolate sits on the bench. Pia wishes there was just one more piece. A bouquet of flowers sits on the bench. Pia thinks flowers look prettier than they smell. <laughs> nice. You know what happened here, guys? Someone's act of riz failed. They were trying to riz someone up. Oh, I know what I see. When Pia passes by this holiday tree with her mother during the day, it is always surrounded by crowds of eager and excited people. And yet now, as snow falls like stars from the night sky, it is strangely void of all visitors. At least Fia can get a closer look at it now. And looking closer, Fia notices a candy cane, a real one, hanging off a low branch. The tree has plenty of candy canes, just one won't, just one won't be missed. Nom. Well, you know, I mean, we can get him rest. Okay. Which way do we go, chat? We go. No, I guess we can't go up. Okay. To the right more. Treats! He is not tall enough to reach the top of this table, but she knows what it holds. A sample bowl of cookies, always left out for passerbys to try. For whenever Fia and her mother pass by this shop, her mother always lifts her to pick up the cookie by herself. Fia can smell the cookies. She knows there's still some left inside. If she can just reach high enough, eat the cookies. Oh, doesn't matter. Fia still got her cookies. Yay! The bowl lays now on the floor. Now void of cookies. Delicious, delicious cookies. Ugh. A freshly baked pie. Not the pie. Fia. Fia. A freshly baked pie sits on the will of the shop. The sill of the shop. Left to be cooled by the brisk, wintry air. Perhaps if they used a refrigerator instead, their hard efforts would not be done away in an instant by the merciless jaw of Fia. Mm. Oh, oh, she ate the tray, dude! Fia, please! Okay, let's save the game. Because I think we can go in here. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Lamb chop, is that is this your place? Shouldn't have left the door open with no attendant. Small gingerbread house sits above the cookie display. Even at her toddler age, Fia could never bring herself to destroy such a precious display. She does, however, find the gingerbread man worthy of eviction. Mm -hmm. Oh no, dude. She sees the, she's seen the workers be able to lift cookies out from underneath. Surely she can as well. Wait. Wait, can I actually? I don't think I can. Wait, wait, there's a thing there? B is not strong enough nor gentle enough to lift the lid of this peppermint jar safely. She can, however, pick up the spare peppermints that fell just outside. Mm. This kid is a thief! You raised a thief! Ah, that's it. The back of this display case has been left open. Sophia sees it fit to at least take one. Oh, okay. More than one. Treats. Maybe all the ones she can reach. Oh, Fia? Um, num. Oh, okay, it's just like two. She took two, three? She took three, okay. Aha, that's it. Oh, wait, I took more. Never mind. More than one. Maybe all the ones she can reach. Never mind. We took more. Hum num. His favorite is every single one. Okay, we have ten snacks. Can I get this one now? Now that the gingerbread man has been successfully evicted, hopefully a new gingerbread family can will move in. Why? Sophia can eat them? Most of them are stuck pretty tightly to the decoration, and Fia finds herself unable to remove them. This candy cane, however, seems to be falling off the rope already. Just enough so that Fia can snag it. 
Nom. Oh, dude. Bia. You're just eating everything. This child is insatiable. These cabinets are only filled with boring things, like bowls and utensils and takeout bags. Oh. A row of decorative candy canes line the front counter of the shop. Okay, wait. Did I not get any of the candy there? Oh, what is this gonna happen? Fia can hear the workers talking faintly behind this door. She won't bother them. You're gonna be bothering them soon. You just ate half their stock. Fia, please. Fia, please. Okay, that's 11 snacks. 11 treats, if you will. Oh, even though there's no carriages rolling across the road right now, Fia's never crossed the street on her own before. Maybe next time. Well, at least she has some morals, I guess. Uh. Uh. This is the back of the candy shop, right? I can't move. Oh, uh. Hey, sir. You're a little... You're spilling ketchup everywhere. No, I guess he didn't see me. All right. Uh, mm, Huh? Oh, I, I, you guys think I forgot about these? A collection of coins have been left here. Oh, these are coins. They're not... I thought these were going to be uh, little cookies. A message Fia recalls from her mother rings loud throughout her mind. She doesn't remember the exact words, but she remembers the sentiment. She should never take money that isn't hers. Fia does not touch the coins. Take them. Fia does not, does not test the coins, but eyes them curiously. As she looks closer, she notices that the golden coin in the group has something. Strange splitting on the rim of the coin. Wait a minute. She recognizes this. This isn't just any coin. Oh no, it's a chocolate coin. <laughs> this is a chocolate coin. What a perfect find in our confection conquest. Wow. Pair of coins. Oh, wait. Wait, I want to see the. I want to see the body. I mean, I mean, I want to see where all this ca this jam leads to. Fia doesn't want to walk further down this way. It smells bad. Oh, that's just you know, that's just jam. Okay, well, it looks like uh, it looks like nothing happens. Okay. Well, it looks like we made our way home. Sweet. Nice. No one was the wiser. Will Fia go back to her room? Yeah, sure. Why not? We win. Easy. Nice. Do you go to bed now? Yeah, sure. Why not? Nice. Classic kids. Good morning, sleepyhead. Uh, ready to get up now? Did you sleep well? Did you have any dreams? Did you dream about something fun? I, I did better. I did something more fun than dreaming, Mom. Treats! So many treats! <laughs> so many treats. Oh, man. That sounds like a really tasty dream. I wish I could have been there. And Unka. Unka? Unka. Do you mean Uncle? Uncle! Oh, you wish Uncle Jackster was in the dream. Uncle! Uncle Jackster was there! Oh, he was there. Oh, I bet he'll be really happy to hear that. Yay! Uncle Jackster was there! Uncle Jackster was. Oh. Uncle Jackster was there! What was uh, Uncle Jackster doing? Huh! <laughs> Uncle Jackster. You a lumberjack or something? What uh what, what's going on? Food. You just realized. Um let's get uh mm, Uncle Jaxta. <laughs> that cool basement game. Yes, yes, this is made by the same creator. Hey, special thanks to their patrons, okay? They can't do this without help. Thank you for playing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see about it. Uh, we're gonna see about a different ending. Okay, we're gonna see about getting a different ending. That was pretty quick, right? That was pretty quick. Haha. Eh, Dananda, yo. Hey, Uncle Jackster. Did you caught yourself? Okay, bye. I uh, I love little kids, man. When they're when they're like this and they just eat everything in sight. Innocence. It smells bad. Even though there's no carriages, huh? Wait, how do I actually? Hmm. You know what? Actually, maybe. 
Yeah, wait, I think I know how to get that ending. Oh, I guess I didn't have to start a new game because I'm pretty sure my first save is right after this. So treats, treats. I want treats. Mother. Pia, don't go where I can't see you, okay? Sometimes Pia will wa sometimes waddle her way over after a nightmare. But Pia wants to be a big girl. Big girls don't sleep in their mommy's bed. Oh. Pia loves this painting. It has a cute snowman in it. What more do you need? This bookshelf is full of books that Pia is too young to understand. Let her own read. Ah. Pia knows that this room is her Uncle Jackster's room. Oh. Pia has never been in here. No one has told her she couldn't, but it feels like she would get in trouble if she did. Go in there. That's kind of odd, though. What's up with that? Okay. Aw, oh, Fia, I just put you to bed. Okay, let's ask about Uncle. Uncle Jaxer is still at work, but he isn't far. You know how he you know he works in this building, don't you, Fia? It's because he works for the hotel that we were able to stay here with him. Oh, okay. And he works very, very hard. So please make sure you're on your best behavior for him, okay? He's being a very good brother by looking out for us. So I'm going to be a good big sister, and you're going to be a good niece. Oh, okay. Oh, that's... I can ask more. Okay. Uh, what about Dad? Uh, Fia, Dad is... We talked about this, remember? Dad is somewhere very far away. Somewhere you and I can't go. Not yet. But even though we can't be with him anymore, I know he's watching over us. Oh, Dad is dead. Dad is Daddy is dead. Okay. So if you ever start missing Daddy too much, just remember, he's always looking out for you, even if you can't see him. I know he was wishing you a good night, too. Okay, what about you, Mom? I know, I know. Why is Mom still up when I have to go to bed? Because I need alone time, child, and you're annoyed. <laughs> I'll be going to bed soon, too. I'm just waiting for your Uncle Jackster to get home from work. <clears throat> okay, thank God. Whew. Okay, just double checking to make sure that was Mom's room. Okay, treats. <laughs> Fia, told you we could get more treats tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get here a lot sooner if you go to bed now. Okay. Alright. Save. Okay, this is good. This is a good save point. Will Fia go to bed now? Good night. Is this a different end? Sweets to Sweets can wait till tomorrow. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Run it to Uncle Jack's. You know. Why do I do that every time? Let's speed run it. Oh, wait, wait, what about this? Oh, there's a box there now. Wait, I can't go there. But I can't go there? Ugh. Fucking lights, man. Okay. So we live at the hotel. That's kind of interesting. And our uncle is the... Is the manager of that hotel. Okay, so let's just look around. Oh my fucking god. God damn it. Clock hydrate. I don't have water with me. I'm dying of thirst. <clears throat> Did we get a little bit more this time? No, I guess not. But maybe she's hungry this time. Maybe. I have an unsatiable thirst for blood. Okay, bye, Uncle, Unca, Uncle, Uncle Jax. I need a real weapon. Okay. Uh, Fia doesn't want to walk further down this way. It smells bad. Huh. Maybe next time. Huh. What? I heard there was multiple endings to this. Is this not multiple endings to this? fuck is my uncle? Can I talk to him? <clears throat> I thought that was all oh, multiple endings to this. I mean, we got two endings, so that's something. Wait, what? Wait, what? The game? The game? I think the game is a little bugged. Okay, no, it's fine. It smells bad. Huh. Well, good night. Let's see what happens when I have no treats. Sweets can wait till tomorrow. What? Wait a second. It's still the same ending? 
Wait a second. What? <laughs> what? How how do this? Three endings. There are three endings. Credits follow the true ending. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to sleep now, yeah. Morning, Fia. It's time to get up. Did you sleep well? Did you have any dreams? Did you dream about something fun? Treats! Haha, <laughs> you had a dream about treats? Goodness, you've really got a sweet tooth, don't you? Reminds me of your uncle. Alright, I know you've been really wanting one, so maybe you could have a cookie with your breakfast today. Yay! Oh, okay, that's... Normal end. Cookies for breakfast! Oh, okay, there we go. That's the third ending. Okay, so there was three endings. All right, Char, we did it! Isn't that wholesome? Isn't that sweet? She saw a murder either way, but she only mentions... She only mentions her uncle when she's had just enough food, okay? She only mentions her uncle when she's had just enough that she doesn't need that extra cookie in the morning, I guess. Yeah, you just missed everything. That's the game! That's the game, folks. I'm sorry to say. That's Fia's Night Out. It was kind of short. I, uh, I thought it'd be harder to get the other endings, but I guess not. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Thanks for watching. This has been Clock. We play a lot of RPG Maker horror games, indie games, uh, visual novels, and a AAA game here and there. You know, if you found this enjoyable what in any way, maybe consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Uh, and you get to watch more cool videos like this one. So... Thank you very much if you did, and even if you didn't, have a good one. Uh, leave a like, please and thank you, and see you next time, okay? Bye. Peace.